this. I think there's a popular understanding amongst the progressive left, at least here in the United States, that the slogan free Palestine is to restore what was once a Palestinian state that Israel has taken over. They they are the occupiers or the oppressors. Could you walk us through briefly, because um, it's it's very complicated, the history of the region and the status of Palestinian statehood um, from a historic perspective? Well, I, there's probably a lot of ways I can answer that question. I would say, first of all, as a, as a matter of fact, of historical fact, there has never been a state of Palestine. And I sometimes don't mention that because I don't think about it, because who would read history and think that there was one? But Mm -hmm. apparently I've learned over the years that people are very convinced that before 1948, Mm -hmm. there was a state of Palestine full of self-identified Palestinians who were systematically dispossessed and thrown out of their land to be replaced with the state of Israel. That is an inaccurate reading of history. That's just totally false. There's nothing about that that's true. Mm -hmm. There was a region with no borders, just loosely defined region like New England or the Pacific Northwest in the Near East that was called by some people Palestine in different languages. That word goes all the way back to the Philistines, a word that was given to that region by the Greeks and then by the Romans, adopted by the Arabs. But there was never, under successive Islamic states, caliphates, sultanates, you name it, um, a state of Palestine. It just didn't exist. And the idea that there were self-identified Palestinians, that there was somebody you could bump into in the year 1900 uh, who would say, hi, I'm, I'm Muhammad, I'm a Palestinian, is, is just, uh, it's absurd. That's just not the way people thought of themselves. People thought of themselves as citizens of the Ottoman Empire. They thought of themselves as members of religious communities, which for most people was the primary means of identification. I'm Muslim, I'm Jewish, I'm Christian. Um, maybe some of them thought of themselves as Arabs, but even that identity, as we heard uh, from our guest last week, Hussein Abu Bakr Mansur, is in some sense artificial or anachronistic. It's not the way people talked, um, certainly not comparable to the way Arabs talk about Arabness today. So you have to ask then, well, what was there? There was an Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire fell and the British Empire came in and established that map that we all see. Sometimes you'll see this map or series of maps that purport to show Palestine, right? This this mythical state that was once this green monolith. And then bite by bite, the Jews and their Western supporters ate into that thing until now it's just a bunch of cookie crumbs that are are, are lying within that same geographical space. It's an anachronism. It's not that map is a colonial map. <laughs> That's what's so <laughs> ironic about, you know, the 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 hardcore pro Palestine camp. The map that they use is literally a colonial map. It was drawn by the British. It was drawn by Europeans. The same people that everybody loves to hate for um, you know, committing the colonial sin. Mm-hmm. There was there was nothing there. They called it the mandate for Palestine and they tried as best as they could um, to commit that that mandate. There were other mandates. Those who know that period post-World War I know that there was a mandate for Iraq, a mandate for Syria, for Lebanon. They, they committed it, uh, just this one little corner of the region, to the settlement, the resettlement of the Jewish people, right, mm-hmm. to support Zionism without prejudicing the rights of the non-Jews who live there, mainly Arabs, but, but not only. And it was only after the establishment of the state of Israel, after the British left, the UN uh, you know, voted and passed a partition plan, one Arab state, one Jewish state. After the Jewish state said, thank you, we want to establish ourselves as a state within the land that the UN has given to us, that the Arab states attacked, tried to destroy the Jewish state, to gobble up all of it. And uh, afterwards, the Palestinian camp, the idea of Palestinians being an Arab, primarily Muslim people, part of the larger Arab and Muslim peoples, uh, established itself as an, a, a, um, a national category, right? This is, this is recent. I'm talking about 
earliest 1948, more commonly in the early 1960s. This idea that there was Palestinians separate and apart from other Arabs, other Muslims, was was a very new invention. And during the British mandate, to be Palestinian was to be either uh, Arab or Jewish, right? I'm a Palestinian Jew. I'm a Palestinian Arab. All it meant is I'm somebody who lives in this British mandate for Palestine. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just a complete misreading of history. I blame it on, I don't know what, (laughs) bad education, social media, everybody wanting bite-sized information, not sitting down and just reading, uh, you know, a history book. Mm -hmm. It's um, unfortunately where a lot of people start their analysis. There was a state of Palestine. The Jews came in and destroyed it, set Mm -hmm. up their own Jewish state. Therefore, everything else that's happened since, all the things that the Jews have done is wrong. Fruit of the poisonous tree. But that's not what the history is. 